everyone. Welcome to Pink Tutu Tarot. So today's reading, we're looking at what you need to focus on in the next two to four months, what your guides want you to focus on in the next two to four months. Um, and this could be in any area of your life. So I'm not making it career specific or relationship specific or um, any other specific. I let it come out uh, in the cards. Uh, but I do have three readings here and three cards from those readings that will help you hopefully decide which one to watch. So group one, and these cards are all from a Lenormand deck. They're not tarot cards, but group one, your card is card number 31, and it's the sun. Group two is card number 16, stars. And group three is card number five, the tree. So think about um, what card or number or uh, imagery attracts you is tugging on you and you can go down into the description box click on the timestamp for that group and it will take you straight to your reading now if you know um my situation many of you know that i recently just had uh, double eye surgery so um, this is one of the first videos that i'm working on after the surgery i will be doing these i will continue to do these and i will pick up the speed on these um, as I heal, um, but private readings at this time are not yet available. And this is as of the time I'm posting the video. Um, if it's if you're catching this later, it may not even be an issue, but I just like to let you know. But if you are interested in a private reading, you can go to my website, pink22tarot.com, and um, you can be added to my wait list, and I'll let you know when uh, I'm doing private readings again. All right. All right, so thanks so much, and just click on the timestamp for your reading, and I'll see you over there. All right. Hey, group one. All right, today we are looking at what you need to focus on, and this, this could be in any area of your life, but we'll find out when we get into it, what you need to focus on over the next two to four months. So your initial card is the sun card, and this is from a Lenormand deck, so it's not a tarot sun, it's a Lenormand sun. Um, and what spirit is telling me, the first thing they said to me is positive thoughts. They're saying there's a need here for you to believe in your blessings. Um, the, they're showing me that there's some negativity that's been around you. And they're saying it's self-induced. It's self-induced. And it may have to do with the circumstances that you've been dealing with. Um, whatever is going on in your life, uh, whatever has been happening. But they're telling me that a lot of the, um, they're saying unfortunate thoughts are coming, they're coming from inside you. And they want you to try to be more positive, uh, more optimistic, and more excited about what's coming. Because there are blessings that are coming, they're saying. So, okay. all right, well, let's leave that there. Let's get some tarot cards and see what else they can tell you. All right, your first card is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Then we have the Page of Cups reversed. And then the Knight of Pentacles. And we'll pull one more as an advice card for you from Spirit.
and your advice card is the moon. Okay. Okay. Give me just a second. I just want to connect with the cards and I'm going to listen for any initial messages from spirit for you. And then we'll um, go through these one at a time. So hold on one second. They're telling me that there's a need for you to, or they want you to believe in what you want for yourself, that what you want for yourself, for your life, your goals, your dreams, something you've already set in motion in some way to a different extent um, from person to person, of course, but they're telling me it is something that you've already set in motion, but you started to have doubts, um, worries, fears, regrets. They're saying there's a need here to wipe that slate clean, start afresh, and almost rebuild from the beginning. And not to say that you have to go back and start over, um, you know, if you've been building something. <clears throat> um, they're saying it, it, it's more the a, a fresh start by way of an attitude. Um, your thought process, what you believe can happen um, rather than, you know, going back and redoing the work you've done. It's not about that. They're saying you're fine with what you've done. They're saying that you've, you've lost a little bit of focus. You've lost a little bit of desire. And you've lost a little bit of belief. And when you start to lose belief in your dreams and goals, um, the desire does wane, right? And so does the focus. So believe in yourself, they're saying. Believe it can happen. It will. There, you're, there's a need to pull the focus back. Let go of whatever didn't work before, whatever problems you had before. Um, doubts, questions, start over, start fresh with a fresh mindset. Okay. So your first card is the page of pentacles in reverse. They're telling me again that you're questioning, you're questioning this, um, this dream of yours. Now this could be, um, work related. It could be, um, uh, you know, some kind of passion project related. It could just be something you want for your life. Maybe it's a new home, um, a new location, something you've been dreaming of and have been working on to some extent and that you want very badly. But part of you at the moment is pushing it away. And you can see it in this card, this card pushing the pentacle away when it is something you actually do want. And it is a gift that's being given to you. But there is a message here of take your hand off the pinnacle, you know, um, release the steering wheel, let go of control, allow yourself to start over and to begin fresh, like, like a child, you know, to look at it with fresh, new, optimistic eyes. All right, so then we have the page of cups in reverse. And they're telling me that one of the obstacles that you face over the next two to four months, the next few months, they're telling me it's you're questioning yourself. You may have gotten bad news about your goal, your dream um, in the past, maybe recently. Um, you may have had some kind of bad experience. Um, Maybe something fell through for you or didn't go as planned. But they're telling me that right now um, and over the next few months, there is the risk of you carrying that forward. There's no need to carry it forward. If, if this is what you want, try to let the disappointment of the past go. Release it. You know, the cup is empty. But all you have to do is turn the cup around and allow it to refill, if that makes sense. Refill that emotional well of yours because it has run dry. That's what they're saying. 
it's either run dry or it's begun it's beginning to run dry and there's there's this need to refill the reservoir of positive good feelings about your dream about this goal of yours now the the opportunity that you have over these next few months is the knight of pentacles and they're telling me that this is progress progress over the next few months it may be slow it may be um gradual but you can achieve steady kind of permanent is the word they're giving me steady permanent progress achievements um advancement getting ahead in some way depending on exactly your situation over these next several, you know two to four months try to stay focused try to get your head back in the game in a in a positive way keep your eye on your goal on your dream right you can notice this this night and he is looking at that pinnacle like it's all he wants on the world right all he wants in the entire universe is right there in front of him and he's just following that and you can do the same and you will make progress and you will achieve some level of success towards your goal it may not be the end game but it'll be it will be noticeable um, at the end of this period if you can follow if you continue to follow through and and follow your dreams all right so the advice card although there's lots of advice all the way through this but the advice card is the moon card and they're telling me there's an um their advice for you is to accept what isn't clear uh, you want clarity you want to know something is going to work you want to know what do i need to do exactly um, to get there or how is it going to go or well, how much is it going to cost me or how long is it going to take you want to know all the details you want to know all the information you're not going to know it all right now you're not meant to know it all you're meant to trust and you're meant to work toward your dream with a little bit of blind faith and i know that's hard to do and that's why their advice for you is proceed anyway without the clarity and the clarity will come the progress will come uh, achievements will be made whether you can see them now or not and that's really what they want you to focus on that's the best advice for you and to know that there's positive luck there is there is um they're, sh they're showing me a rainbow with uh you know the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow you may not reach the end of the rainbow in the next two to four months, but you will get closer. You will get closer and it will get easier. You know, again, they're showing me the rainbow, but they're showing me the arc of a rainbow and how going up the arc, just like going up a mountain can be a lot of work, can be really hard. You reach the top and then going down is easier, right? And at the bottom is the pot of gold. So their message in all of that is that it will get easier. Keep the faith, stay positive, but your focus over the next two to four months is to keep your eye on the prize. You know, stay focused on what you want, even when you don't have the clarity you wish you had. And let go of the disappointments, let go of the things that didn't work. Start fresh, start fresh. All right, group one, I hope that helps. I hope it gives you the nudge you need to um, you know, start moving forward. All right. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. If this resonated with you, I hope you'll like the video. Leave a comment. I do read all your comments and I appreciate them. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, group two. All right. Today, we're going to take a look at what you need to focus on over the next two to four months. Now, this could end up being in any area of your life. We'll see what the cards give us. Um, so be open to what it may be. But let's look at your initial card. Oh, beautiful. Your card is stars, and this is from the Lenormand deck, so it's not the same as the tarot star. Um, hold on one sec. Let's see what Spirit wants to say about this. They're saying, um, 
talking about magic, believing in magic. Um, there might be some similarities between you and group one, so you may want to watch both if, if you feel called. Obviously, I don't know what the rest of the reading is yet, um, but they're giving me a similar feeling, so bear with me. But, they, but they're telling me it is a little bit different, so hold on. They're, they're talking about the magic in the stars. In the night sky. I don't know what this has to do with you or what you need to focus on, so bear with me. <laughs> I can only give you what I get. So hold on. They're talking about the darkness. Um, so I don't know if you've gone through a dark period or you've been down where you've been dealing with a lot of problems. Um, maybe you've dealt with some level of depression or just you know not feeling 100% yourself. Um, or you're just feeling in the dark about something um, where you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you're feeling a little bit lost, feeling a bit confused, um, out of sorts. But they're telling me there is magic in the darkness and not to dismiss it so um, easily or eagerly. Uh, obviously, if you're in a sad place, no one wants to be in a sad place and they're not encouraging that. But they're saying there is some magic there, whether it's, you know, you're coming from a time when you're, you, were, you are or were feeling less than happy. Um, or whether you're just in the dark about something. Um, for both scenarios they're showing me, there's magic in the darkness. Um, sparks of light, like stars, that will remind you what you're working toward, or that there is just magic up ahead. You may not be working toward anything in particular. You know, you might just be dealing with your everyday life. Um, but they're telling me the darkness has gotten to you a little bit. And it, there's a need here for you to believe in the magic again. That these sparks of light that come into your life, just brief little moments of happiness or quick glimpses of clarity or inspiration, they're saying there's magic in those moments, um, and they're meant for you to grab onto if you can. And if you miss one, if you miss several, there will be more. Um, so keep that in mind. All right, so let's leave that there, and let's see what the tarot cards have to show you. Your first card is Lovers Reversed. Oh. Then we have the Queen of Swords Reversed. We have the Five of Cups, and one more as an advice card for you. And the advice card is the Four of Cups. Okay, give me just a second. I want to take these cards in, and I want to listen for some initial messages for you from spirit. And then we'll go through these and talk about them one at a time. So hold on one sec. They're telling me, first thing they're telling me is that for, for some of you or many of you, um, this revolves either around an existing relationship 
or the desire to have one um, in your life, uh, a loving relationship. They're saying it's not all of you, but for many of you, that's what this is about. Um, either you went through a breakup and that's maybe where some of the sadness is coming in, or you're wondering either what's going on with the person you're with, you're, you're in the dark, or you're wanting to meet someone and it doesn't feel like there's anybody there for you. Again, darkness. For others of you, it's not about relationship. It's, it's about you, um, your relationship with yourself, um, your relationship with your life in general. They're saying this is less goal specific. So if you're looking for goal specific, um, I would say group one, you may want to listen to that one as well. And that's not to dismiss your goals in this reading. Um, because our goals are part of our life. <clears throat> but this is really more about the bigger picture of your life and where you need some clarity and, and where you need some acceptance, they're saying, of what is and what can be, you know, trusting the magic. Okay. So your first card is the lovers reversed. They're telling me and showing me uh, both <clears throat> that you're feeling like a separation. So it may be they're feeling disconnected from just from your life, from um, even from what you want in your life. There's, they're, they're showing me like there's a before, there's this unknown after, and then this gulf in between um, where there's darkness. You know, you don't know. You don't know what's coming. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what you should do. Um, if it is relationship-based, you may be having questions about your person that you can't answer. You may be having doubts, worries, wondering when your person will show up. All of these things, it's creating a disconnect with your own spirit, creating a disconnect with your life, I'm sorry, say that again. They're showing me that a, a bridge um, between these, you know, what you know and what you don't know, um, where you are and where you are headed. And they're showing me, you know, the, the darkness in the middle, which is where you are, kind of. But they're showing me a bridge connecting the two. There is a need for you to reconnect with yourself with what they're saying really your spirit your soul yes you may also need to reconnect with a person in your life but they're saying that will come after the clarity in that darkness will come after you reconnect with yourself so whether it's with a person or you're hoping for a person to come in or you're just feeling disconnected in general um, feeling kind of lost in your life. They're saying there's a need to build the bridge and reconnect. And I know you don't probably know how to do that yet, but they're just kind of letting, you know, setting the stage for you here. Okay. So your next card is, <clears throat> excuse me, the Queen of Swords reverse. And they're telling me this is the obstacle you're facing over these next two to four months. Um, and they're saying negative thoughts, believing in the worst talking down to yourself, not giving yourself enough credit, not being kind enough to yourself, not being good enough to yourself, not believing that you're good enough. Really very, very hard on yourself. Unnecessarily, they're saying. They're saying if you could only see how beautiful, how wonderful, how gifted and talented you are, if you could see yourself through your guide's eyes, you would never say a bad word about yourself because you're beautiful in their eyes in every way. But you talk to yourself like you're your own enemy. And that is an obstacle that you will need to overcome over these next, you know, several months, two to four months. And it's something that could, you know, you could find yourself um, 
tripping over this uh, over this time frame. Because you want to improve, you want your life to get better, you want better relationships, a better general overall life, you want to feel good about yourself. You can't do that while you're also beating yourself up and bullying yourself. So they're really encouraging you to be kinder to yourself and to recognize that this is an obstacle that's in front of you. Um, they're showing me like little rocks in, in the road on the pathway that, you know, uh, you may have a tendency to trip over if you don't learn to navigate around that. Then we have the Five of Cups. They're saying this is the opportunity, the blessing that is available to you over this next two to four months. They're saying, oh, hold on. They're saying there's a gift in what is absent. So, you know, yes, this card often means, okay, you've had a disappointment, something has gone wrong, but you still have, out of the five cups, you still have two that are full. And the message is usually to focus on the two full cards. And I'm not saying that that's not the message, but they're getting more specific and saying that there is a blessing in the cups that have spilled, in situations that you have avoided, in what you can learn about yourself over these next, um, you know, this next time frame, the next two to four months. What you let go of, what you recognize is missing from your life will help you move forward. It is actually a blessing, even though it may not feel like it. And there are still two full cups. There's still plenty of blessings already in your life, but they're talking about what's coming and what opportunity is there for you. And the opportunity is to overcome the disappointment. This, they're, again, they're talking about a feeling of low self-worth and detachment from people, from yourself, from your life. There's, there is, in a way, there is magic in it. Just like they said, there's magic in the darkness. Let me see if I can get a little more information here. They're saying part of the magic is that you've experienced this darkness. And so when the light does shine, when clarity does come, when that bridge is built and you feel connected again, it won't be a feeling you'll, be, you'll easily let go of again. You will be so appreciative of it and so grateful for it that you will embrace it with everything you've got. And, and that's part of why we go through some of the things we go through. You know, if everything was always positive, we would appreciate those gifts a little bit less. But there's just like there's night and day, there is dark, there is light, there is what feels like negative times and what feels like positive times, and they only feel that way because of the opposite. They're saying, trust the magic of the darkness. And don't push it away, but instead learn to build a bridge over it, through it, one step at a time. Okay. So the advice card is the Four of Cups. They're saying this is where we tell you how to do that. <laughs> That's good. Okay, hold on. They're, they're talking about recognizing the disappointments. They're, and they're even showing me, write them down. You know, one time, don't dwell on it. Don't um, get stuck there. But acknowledge the disappointments that you have experienced up until now, you know, recently. You know, what's, whatever has got you down. They're, they're really encouraging you to write it, write it out in some way verbalize it in some way, whether you're talking to someone, not complaining because that just um, adds momentum to a situation, more like a list, 
you know, this, this thing disappointed me. That thing disappointed me. This person disappointed me. And why? Acknowledge what went wrong so that you can then accept what went right. And you can look for red flags in the future. Um, for instance, what they're showing me is maybe in the last, I don't know, year or so, maybe you've put on weight. Um, and this is just a very simple example to keep from getting too specific, something we all probably deal with on some level. Um, so you've put on some weight and you're upset about it and you want to get back to where you were. By creating a list, by writing it out just one time, the things that contributed to the weight gain, for example, whether it was maybe things you ate that you shouldn't have eaten, whether it was situations that got you down and created maybe emotional eating or drinking, um, maybe it was other challenges in your life, physical challenges that prevented you from being as active as you would like to be, those kind of things. What things contributed to the situation you are unhappy with right now? Acknowledge those things in writing, or they're really encouraging you to write it in some way. Type it out, write it out, you know, speak it into a recorder if that's better for you, you know, like on your phone or something. They're really encouraging you kind of to keep it private, but you can say it to someone else if you have someone you trust to allow you to just provide a list and not um, have it turn into a complaining session sort of thing. Acknowledge those things that contributed to the downfall of whatever, you know, whatever's going on in your life. It could be a relationship, could just be, you know, I, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling sad, you're feeling disappointed with some area of your life. Go back in time and think about what contributed, what um, kind of how you got, how you got here. And then tell yourself, what can you do to prevent that from happening again and to turn what you can around and create a new situation for yourself? In the next two to four months, by acknowledging those things and by accepting what was, there is a level of acceptance here, accepting what, what, what was, without blame, without bullying yourself or anyone else, and moving forward in a different, in a direction that takes you where you want to go, that's when you'll start to really see the sparkle in life again. You'll start to feel the magic again. You'll start to see those sparks of life and light in the darkness where you've really just been feeling in the dark lately. Okay, all right, they're telling me that's it. So I hope that helps. I hope it kind of gives you some direction and um, you know, a nudge forward. So thank you so much, group two. If this reading resonated with you, I hope you'll give the video a like. Drop me a comment down below. I do read all of them. Subscribe if you wanna know when new videos come out. And I thank you so much for being here. All right, bye-bye y'all. Hey, group three. All right, today we're going to look at what you need to focus on over the next two to four months. So let's take a look at your card. All right, your card is the tree. And this is from a Lenormand deck. Give me one sec, let me see what spirit wants to. Um, they're telling me two things. Um, your family and your own health and well-being these are important things for you to focus on. It may be both things or it may be one or the other. So you'll have to take that as it resonates for you since there's lots of different people watching. But they are giving me those two um, important areas of your life to keep, keep on top of. Not that there's anything to worry about at all, but they're showing me That, that over the next two to four months, 
either or both of these areas could improve for you if you give it the right focus. And this is something that would be important to you. So if um, your family connections uh, are somehow lacking or you want to improve them, this would be a time when your focus will pay off. Same as with your health and well-being. They're saying a lack of focus on these areas, proper focus, is what has you feeling a bit um, either disappointed or detached from the outcome you want. So again, this could be, you know, if this reading is for you, there is a, a desire on your part to either improve communication or connection or something with your family. Could just be one person or it could be a, a bigger picture. Um, re reconnecting those, uh, the, just, they're showing me the family connections. They're showing me a connection, like a chain, um, or a desire to improve your health and well being in some way. Let's see what tarot cards they have for you. See what else they can tell you. They're telling me by focusing on this over the next few months. Um, the areas will expand and grow like a tree, like a healthy tree. It grows, it grows leaves, um, it grows blossoms, it grows branches, it attracts, you know, birds and wildlife. Your focus on these areas will not just improve these areas, you know, family, health, and well-being, but it will it will bring blessings and good things in your life in other areas because you'll be less focused on what isn't going right in those areas, if that makes sense. It will go beyond that. The blessings will go beyond um, just what you're imagining or wanting right now. All right, your first card is the Queen of Swords reversed. Then we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands reversed. And one more as an advice card for you. And your advice card is the King of Wands reversed. Okay. Okay, give me just a second. Let me just connect with these cards and I'm going to listen for any initial messages for you from Spirit. And then we'll talk through these and see what they have to tell you. Hold on one sec. They're telling me this next two to four months is a good time for you. It'll be much easier if you've been struggling in this area um, or areas in the recent past could be over the last year even, maybe even a little bit more um, or less. Again, it's lots of people here, but take, take that as it resonates. But where you've struggled and it's felt a bit like an uphill battle for you, it will get easier over these next two to four months with your focus, with the correct focus. They're saying a negative focus, in other words, focusing on the negative parts of your, you know, what's going on with your family or what's going on with your health. That isn't helping you. <laughs> um, your focus should be on what you want to accomplish, what you want to achieve, what you want to see come about. And never mind um, what hasn't worked. 
or what you don't like. The universe knows what you don't like already. We've already made that clear. Now it's time to turn your focus around and begin to think more positively and optimistically about what can happen over this next two to four months. And part of the reason why you were drawn to this reading, and I do believe that our, your, our, our spirit guides, because I do watch other readings, um, other readers as well, um, I do believe that we are brought to specific readings because our guides have messages they want us to hear. And so the reason why you were brought to this reading, one of the reasons, is for you to hear, for them to tell you that it can happen. In this time frame, it can happen. What you want can happen. Um, there, there may be more that needs to be done beyond, you know, the four months, depends on your situation. But you can see significant progress and feel really happy about what you've accomplished or what has come about if you keep that positive mindset. Okay. Give it the focus it deserves, they're saying. Yeah. All right. So your first card is the Queen of Swords reverse. And they're telling me right now that there, there is a kind of a negative mindset going on right now. You may not even realize it. Some of you might know. You might know that you um, talk down about yourself, um, to yourself, uh, maybe complain about family members, maybe you complain about your own health. Um, the talking down, the negative thoughts, the negative words that come out of your mouth, they do affect the outcome. They do affect what goes on around you because it affects your energy field around you. And this is partly, um, it's one of the things that's contributing to where you are now. One of the things. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Not to say that your negative thoughts caused X, Y, Z to happen, no. But our own negative energy or our own pessimistic energy can contribute to something getting worse or not getting better or not being the way we want it to be can contribute to it. Okay. So the next card we have is the three of pentacles. And this is the challenge you're facing, the obstacle that you may come across um, over these next several months that you'll need to overcome. Let me just hear what they want to say about this. They're saying one of the obstacles you have is that you're having to focus on something else or many thing, other things in your life. And it often excludes what you want here. So, um, you know, reconnecting with your family or maybe there's something going on with your family or your health. Maybe you don't have time to um, exercise or, you know, cook the way you want to cook or whatever it may be. You feel like you don't have the time. They're telling you because you feel like you're either constantly working or focusing. There's something else that you've been focusing on almost to the exclusion of everything else. And they're, they're encouraging you to sort of expand your approach there a little bit because it can't be all or nothing. Um, I'll just give you an example of my own experience. So in the past, when I have gained weight and I wanted to lose weight, if I put my entire focus on it, 100% focus, I'd lose the weight, no problem. But other things would suffer. And when I put all my focus on something else, sometimes my health will suffer. They're, they're telling you that that approach will continue to be a struggle for you. You know, if you recognize that in your own situation a little bit, um, but that kind of approach where you feel like it has to be all or nothing can continue to trip you up. And, and it may come up over these next two to four months. Um, they're saying you can't be an expert in one thing 
and you know at, at zero in everything else and expect to make progress in the everything else i hope that makes sense they're saying spread the wealth spread the wealth which means the wealth meaning your time your focus your energy give different parts of your day to different areas of your life so that it isn't all or nothing. And that may be a challenge for you. And, or it may be a challenge like it is for me thinking, the only way I ever lose weight is when I give it my entire focus. That's one of the things I need to stop saying to myself because it's not true. It's not true. And all that does is create a cycle of getting where I wanna go and then I focus on something else and I lose what I've gained. Um, so again, they're saying spread the wealth, share the focus among the things you want in your life. And of course, you're going to have different priorities for what you want more. But if this is something that's important to you, give it the time and the attention it deserves. So your next card is the seven of wands reversed. And they're telling me this is the opportunity that lies ahead for you, the gift, the blessing. You, they're telling me that by focusing on several different things, right? Um, focusing on the things you want for yourself and your life instead of just one area of your life at a time. Giving each important area of your life the focus it deserves. By doing that, spreading the wealth, you will actually eliminate many of the distractions that are happening to you right now. They're telling because they're giving me that there's distractions that are pulling you from what you want. And they're not all healthy distractions. So it may be that you work a lot. And um, when it comes time to, you know, do a family outing or a family reunion or you know, go outside and get some exercise or whatever it may be for you. You get distracted by your work or even other distractions. And it keeps you from your goal. But there is an opportunity here over this next two to four months. Where by this, I know this is going to sound weird, so hopefully it makes sense to you guys. But by splitting your focus, you actually increase your focus. You know, one area at a time. Um, but but by splitting, in other words, you're not going to spend the next four months solely focused on your job or solely focused on um, improving your health. You're going to focus on the different areas of your life. So you're splitting the focus, but by doing that, you eliminate the distracting thoughts, the negative thoughts, the, um, this isn't possible. I can't do this. I don't have time for that. But by eliminating those things and you'll get rid of some of the distractions, you're actually more focused on the things you want, even though you're focused on more things. I know that sounds like I'm hearing it come out of my mouth saying, that probably sounds like gobbledygook to you guys. So I hope it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, drop me a comment. I'll try to clarify. But, um, but that is what they're giving me. By, by focusing on the things you want, all the things you want in your life, in due course, um, giving each area of your life the, the time and attention and focus it deserves and it needs, you will actually improve the focus and eliminate the distractions which will help you get where you want to be more quickly okay all right so the advice from spirit is the king of wands reversed let me see what they want to say about this they're saying you don't need to make any big sweeping changes in your life that's not what this time is about it's about accepting what is and approaching each area of your life, and in particular, your health, your family, 
they're saying with, with a calm, practical insight, um, like almost like a methodical um, focus, rather than, for example, um, if what you're wanting to do is lose weight. Um, they're saying, forget the fad diets, forget the sweeping changes, forget the overhaul everything. Focus on what you want and make steady progress, steady steps toward it. But also focus on the other things you want in your life too, as they need it. So that you're not hyper-focused on one thing. The, the sweeping changes, the overhauling your diet or or whatever it may be. Uh, those things tend to be short-lived. They fizzle out, they fizzle out. Just like, you know, the wand represents fire and the fire ends up going out. So don't let the fire go out by allowing it to burn too quickly. Um, or, or making changes that are not sustainable. Slow, slow progress will actually get you further. So if, you know, for example, you are um, having challenges with one of your children and you want to improve your uh, relationship with them, if you can't do it overnight and have it be sustainable, you know, making a big change and suddenly becoming a different person um, or requiring different things from them all of a sudden and expect that to be sustainable. Take, take things one step at a time. Focus on it. Give it the attention it needs along with the other areas of your life. And you'll continue to make progress forward instead of um, burning and burning out. Burning and burning out. I hope that makes sense. I'm worried for this group that y'all are going to go, what is she talking about? She's a crazy lady. Um, <laughs> but it is a little bit of a complicated concept that they're giving me, so I hope it does make sense. Uh, let me see if there's anything else now I'll tell you. They're, they're really saying the big, the other big important thing is for you to believe. Don't doubt your ability to make the progress that you have in mind. It can happen. And this next two to four months, whenever you come across this video, it doesn't have to be from when I post it. It's when you are brought to it or drawn to it and when you watch it. The next two to four months can bring and will bring, absolutely will bring positive changes in this area with your proper focus and attention. Um, as it deserves, and eliminating the negative thoughts, um, the need for it to be all or nothing, the need to make big sweeping changes that are not sustainable. Believe that steady progress will create big changes in the next, the next four months or less. All right, group three, I hope that helps. I hope it was um, more clear than I'm worried it is. <laughs> Um, but thank you so much for being here. If it resonated, if it helped you, I hope you'll give the video a like uh, or, and or drop a comment down below. I do read all your comments. So I appreciate you. Thank you for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.